Hello guys, so we are in London. Bonjour. Bonjour, we're not in Paris now. We're in very rainy London. We've just got to um, New Bond Street. So we're having a little nose around here. Um, thank you so much for the love on um, the first vlogmas video. We hope you enjoyed it. So we've come to London today. Just walking past by ourselves. <laughs> just there. I thought we'd have a little nose around this area. We've also got tickets for Winter Wonderland as well, so we're going to go there. It is a bit rainy, so I hope the weather sort of like stops <laughs> so you don't get yeah. as wet. Rush has got his new jacket on today. Yeah, turtleneck. And his turtleneck. Standard. So yeah, we're going to get some food now, do a bit of window shopping and then go to Winter Wonderland as well. So we've just come for a little hot chocolate at the Ralph Lauren shop. Okay, I've had a latte. Russ had a latte, I thought I'd have a nice little hot chocolate. We walked past Ralph and it looked nice and there's anyone coming with loads of coffee. Yeah, it's so Ooh. festive guys, like, look how cute it is outside of here. And we're just opposite Cartier. Um, so a nice little coffee spot if you want to come down to London and have a little festive hot chocolate or a latte if you're a coffee lover, like Russ. We're up to, what did you get? Hazelnut one, you went the same? went the same, yeah. It's either raisin and some of what? I'm not a fan of. We're having a cookie. Just they had chocolate, chocolate brownies. Yeah, but the chocolate look brownies. At, um, that, that, that they feel nice and soft. They feel they do eat bad. There's a debation. Do you like the cookies to be hard or soft? I like to be soft. Like yeah, we like the gooey. See, one cookie that we absolutely love is the Domino's cookies. We love a Domino's cookie. They're good. They feel, yeah, it's nice to be fair. We've got hazelnut chunks in it as well. Reminds me of like um, whole nut dairy milk mm. in a cookie. It reminds me of that sort of vibe. It's massive as well, look how big it is. Decent size. Mm. Cost me a new mortgage though. I think it's for the hot chocolate, the latte, and two cookies. 16 £16. £16. £16 each. That's what you get for having a hot chocolate at Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. <laughs> didn't yeah, see Ralph though. No. Didn't Big Lou, to be fair, didn't see Ralph. So, where's Russ? Can't I'm see it's all these brollies. Uh, we just went into Dior, and as you just said. Best fiance. Best fiance. There was a little ring that I wanted for ages, 
Um, so it's over for Christmas, but then it's my 30th next year. So we thought I'd have it as an early 30th present, didn't we? Yeah, because for me, if I ordered it offline, I wanted you to have the experience. I want to do it spec with well, the ring size. You can have many different ring sizes. Like trying yeah, to engage me and the size I need. Yeah, so the, rather you just try it on, then it's like, like just have the it. whole like experience in store. But the customer service in Dior was like so good. Like the store's massive in there. Um, so yeah, I'll show you a closer look. Um, so I want to get home, do a little unboxing, but yeah, so nice. So today we are in Atria Watford. Yep. Um, I'm working with them over on my Instagram, um, just basically doing like a festive shopping day. But I thought I'd vlog it as well because of course we're shopping. <laughs> and it's just going to be more of a shopping vlog, isn't it really? Because we were in London yesterday, yeah. didn't get home till God 12 o'clock last night. It was up at half four this morning. morning. Two trains. Two trains cancelled, cancelled on us. Weather. I mean, of course. And then when, as soon as we got here, my brother rang me to say, oh, are you in Watford? I just drove past, I could have give you a lift down. So I'm like... We were like, oh my God. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have a little nosy round. It's really neat. I, I came here ages ago. Um, when I used to work for H&M, I did a store opening here. Um, but Russ hasn't been here before, have you? But it's really no. nice. Look how festive it is as well.
just going to try on a couple of boots. I've got two jumpers here, but I thought I'd show you guys my outfit for today. I'm wearing my lovely new coat from Zara, which I'm absolutely obsessed with this homegrown print. It looks so, so nice. And I'm wearing these leather kick flare trousers, my Converse, of course, so I'm nice and comfy. You guys know I always wear my Converse when I'm shopping. Um, so yeah, I'm nice and toasty today, and I'm going to try these bits on now. Ross is also trying on as well. That jumper looks nice. Same as the one I've got, I just feel like I just need to have a large, the same size as the other ones, they're large in these ones. Yeah. Yeah, because I've been to things too much, I think it's just because it's one fit. Yeah. It doesn't do justice for me. It's sort of, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, doing it. Looks nice. So I've just tried on this knit in at the size small, but I think I might need the medium. I feel like it's a little bit too, I'd want it more oversized. Um, but it is a bit itchy, that's the only thing. I love this print though, it's very, very festive, but like sort of like subtle and um, festive as well. Um, I'll try the medium on. And then this is the medium, so it sits better, it's more oversized. Um, I always size up in knitwear, just sort of like that oversized look, which it looks really cosy. Um, this roll neck though is sitting a little bit funny. Um, it's making my hair super static and it is really itchy, so I love it, but it's just a bit too itchy for me. And I thought I'd try on this cream knit as well. It's just the roll neck. It's like, you know, it sort of catches on your chin. I just know it'll get plastered in makeup. It's just sitting a bit funny. This is the size small. It's also got these side slit detail on, which is really cool. Um, it's just the neck. It sits really funny, so I really like it, but I just keep doing that. So I know it's going to annoy me and you can't really like roll it down. So it's not the sort of jumper you can roll but it looks really cool it's just i know this bit will just get plastered in my makeup <laughs> a liner which is on my lid up there which I've never tried before so I've said away with some goodies I absolutely love having my makeup done because it's just nice to try new products and me recommended some and I love this lip combo as well so I thought I'd quickly show you before I put my mask back on shopping so we're just going to head to the McDonald's apparently but we're just trying to find it yeah, until um, it was inside. So it was outside. inside, and then we walked outside and we couldn't see it outside. But there's a little um, bit, so we're trying to pull this up a bit now. Yeah, but it's a really nice shopping centre. Like they've got like a really new bit. And um, then you've got the high street as well. Um, there's loads of parking in it, so I didn't realise it. I think they didn't this used to be into. I think or Westfield, that, no, Westfield, what? Into, like Mary Hill, in um, the middle and area. Derby, yeah. And Derby, yeah. Right, Derby, I think it's into, I think it's rebranded. Rebranded to Atria. Um, but yeah, so recommend it, it guys. Look good, if, the graphics and all it looks dead similar so i think they have just literally just had a bit of a rebrand yeah and um, so we're gonna get some food as well in a bit so we're gonna head to flannels also have a nose in zara because we've got a nice zara tgi fridays I'm not yeah they've got a tgi's and like what do we always one. have yeah, we'll sesame had... no jack daniel's chicken but i haven't had a tgi's mm. for about before lockdown no it's way before lockdown well, but way yeah before lockdown. before lockdown so yeah two years ago guys so we're gonna no, have longer a than that. I'll, I'll longer than that three four i'm generally not even sarcastic <laughs> Yeah, so we'll have a TGI's, but there is like Las Iguanas, there's a florist here, there's yeah, also yeah. Coat Brazier, yeah. um, loads of like Costas, there's literally loads of food places. ZZ's. ZZ's. So yeah, um, you can walk through another yeah, entrance as well. Through, yeah. Just there. So I recommend if you guys are, and if you don't want to go all the way into London, and it's not too busy either. So yeah, we're going to try and find flannels now.
So we are back home now and we have Hugo, he's been for a sleepover, haven't you? Oh, you're very tired. He hasn't noticed them. Do you know what he won at Winter Wonderland? He hasn't it's noticed them. I mean... <laughs> what is that? Be careful, watch my phone. No, that's what we won. Be nice to them. Be nice to them. They're not yours. He literally did not even notice. No. Come on, leave. You've been such a good boy. No. We are literally so tired. Um, our HelloFresh delivery has come, but we're like, nah, I can't bother to cook no. that. We had Mac is at like 12 o'clock last night, so we've got some pizzas in the freezer, so we're just going to bang them in. Take off my get in pajamas. Is it just about what time is it now? About six. Quarter seven. Quarter to seven. Um, here you go. It's coming to say hello. Um, our kitchen and house is a mess. Um, we're out again tomorrow as well. So it's just been literally like Tuesday, London, Wednesday in Watford. Tomorrow we're at the MacArthur Glen, West Midlands. Um, I'm working with them again. I mean, we're still working together this time, which is really cool. Um, but luckily it's not far from us, so we can have a bit of a line tomorrow. We don't have to be there till 10. Do I mean, when we, we've been so busy this week, it's literally just like eating on the go and then we end up eating crap food. But then when you eat crap food, it makes you feel like crap. So it'll be fine. We can have a chill the weekend and then use our HelloFresh. But yeah, we're knackered now. So we're going to sort of like have showers, get into our comfies, and then we'll see you at MacArthur Glen tomorrow. today we are just in Reese and um, we've got some bits to try on as well um, I said we're doing a campaign with them together today which is really fun and um, so we have these pieces just to try on I've got some a jumper here some nice like sparkly trousers and a couple of jumper dresses and then we're just going to try on some jeans also how amazing are these cable knits so very nice aren't they yeah there's that one they do this style in a cream as well like this color but this one's got like a bit of a zip on it yeah with the zip detail but I do like the, the cable on it as well yeah so it's got the two sizes to try so we'll try them all on for you and everything and yeah show you them so this is the one jumper this is the size XL isn't it yeah XL I feel like I just need XL in all it's nice, the cable knit is really nice, and then the zip it as feels, well. It feels nice, and it feels like it's not very light go to. No, it looks really cosy. I think you can't beat a cable knit for this time of year. No. Yeah, typical. It's got a lot of detail on it. You've got some zip. sort of, yeah, but it's nice with the zip detail yeah, as well. Try, say, we try that one on there. Oh. Yeah, try that one on. It's a really so nice colour. Like, yeah. And then that's the other one. That's a really nice colour. Yeah. What Still size is that? In a neck on it. it seems weird. Like, it's because you're always in a roll neck, yeah. that's why. It's XL again as well. Which one do you prefer? They we'll do this one in that, in the, that colour as well. In the, you've already got like a cream cable on it. That colour is quite nice. I just feel like it. I feel like the neck looks a bit like it's not. Do you know what I mean? Because you like to have stuff a bit more. I feel like it's, it's hanging a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's hanging. Looks like is the neck stretched. Might be on the hanger. You, yeah, I feel like it's. A, see how it's sort of like not sitting. Looks it doesn't sit. Yeah, well, feel like it needs like... to go up, doesn't it? Like yeah, you can see it's been stretched because you've got a little bit of a. When you put your arms back then, see, you got a bit of a... But you see they've got another one. Yeah. And you definitely get the cream one. Now I've just tried these jeans on. Are they the tapered fit? Slim fit. It's slim, a slim fit. fit. I've got a bit more loose than even a slightly skinny fit. And I'll play loose, it just nice. They sit really nice as well on the ankle. But Russ is sitting with jeans. He hates when they go baggy and they actually sit. Just nice now because enough, it's not too much. Yeah. Are they are 36. 36, yeah. Yeah, they are nice. Get those if you want to get them. Yeah. How amazing is this dress? Of course, excuse the bra. But how nice is it? For this time of year as well. I love the colour. I just need to sort of go... Right, this is a, I think this is a size 8. 
think so. Yeah. So they have to know. I think it's a size 8, I think it's gone down, so. It's a size 8, yeah, so it's gone from 325 to 120. It's so nice, like with some heels and stuff. Like a New Year's Eve. It's got these nice zip bits as well. Yeah. So you can like... It's even sent after the detail on the back where they put them on the back of the dress there. Yeah. Like this bit here to attach it up is like elasticated so you're not like yeah, like yeah. hard to get it through. It sends stuff is little stuff like that was like, yeah. oh, okay. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the first ribs dress. I've got it in the cream as well, but how nice is the black one? I don't actually have anything like this, I don't think. No, it's nice though. Yeah, it's not too... I thought it'd be sort of like, I have got seam free. I think underwear on, but it's not too. This is no, the it's not size. too tight, but it looks nice, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking it's it was a small. small. Like with a blazer or literally layered up. Be nice some, and like, blazer on boots and yeah. stuff. Yeah, huge little heels or boots. Yeah, really nice. And then this is the cream one, but I feel like it is. I can't tell if it's just you can see my underwear or just a little bit see through. Sorry, my voice keeps going um, really croaky. And we also look so tired today. <laughs> look at our eyes, look onto the camera. <laughs> Look at my ear. We're both so tired. <laughs> Literally. Um, so I didn't like the black one. I do like the cream, but I just feel like I haven't really got a black. I've got some cream jumper dress, but I haven't got black ones. I think ones. she looks really hot, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> then here are the trousers. These are a size 8. I picked up the size 10 as well, but these are still a little bit big. Um, can you see like a really nice like sort of sequin? Really, really nice. Again, these would be nice styled with like maybe a blazer. And then this jumper is a size medium, but I feel like it sits a bit stiff. And it's a little bit like, and I can feel the gold stitching underneath, so it's a little bit itchy. Still really nice though. It's like a nice sort of like subtle festive. It's not too in your face. But yeah, definitely could have got away with maybe a size six in the trousers. Um, so I'm gonna leave these two. do a quick unboxing of everything that I picked up from the outlet and also what we got from Watford. I've also got my little Dior bag as well which I'll unbox last with you. I mean so so pretty. I'm really excited to show you guys what I got from Dior. Um, but first of all let's start with what we got from the outlet today. So um, Russ has literally just had to head out um, so I've got the bits that Russ picked up. So he went for this lovely cable knit jumper which is from Reese. Um, so so nice it looks really lovely on him and this was reduced to £98 as well from £148 he also really loved that sort of like nice like mole coloured one um, so he's very tempted to go back and get that and then he also got these jeans as well uh, which he was super happy with they were the slim fit tapered jeans um, honestly, Reese have like so many nice bits for men and Russ absolutely loves Reese. Um, so we've got these lovely bits here. Of course, he was given a gift card to shop there because I was working with them over on my Instagram. So if you follow me over there, you would have seen me and Russ share a little reel of us shopping, which was really fun to film. And it was really lovely working with them. And then from Reese, I picked up the black jumper dress, which I have just here. So Hugo's literally just sitting there watching me so i picked up this lovely black jumper dress the quality guys is so so nice um it was more expensive so i think it, this was around again 98 pound reduced from 148 i also loved the cream color as well but i just thought i haven't really got a black jumper dress like this so yeah i think it's nice to dress up or dress down and then we also headed to the cosmetics company store. I've spoken about that shop before. They have so many good beauty brands, guys. They have loads of things from Clinique, Estee Lauder, MAC, um, Jo Malone as well. Honestly, highly recommend. And um, that's another example of the brands all on there. So Hugo is just, he's obsessed with this tissue paper. It's not for you, baby. 
isn't for you. He's got really, I don't know what, I mean, he must have been trying to wipe his eyes. His eyes are really gunky today. Um, I'm going to give him some Puritan. He normally only gets like gunky eyes when it's like hay fever time. So I don't know what set that off. I'm going to give him a Puritan in a bit. He's such a sensitive little soul, aren't you, monkey? Um, so yeah, I picked up this perfume from Jo Malone. This one is the yellow hibiscus, I think you say it. They also do it in the red as well, which I didn't have that in stock, but oh my God, guys, it smells so, so nice. This is definitely gonna be my spring summer fragrance. And this was reduced to £78.75 from 105. So a really good saving on Jo Malone. Of course, make sure you do go there because um, Jo Malone sells out quite quick there. They had like some candles, also some other fragrances so yeah if any of you guys are going to the west midlands outlet anytime soon then do make sure you probably go straight to the cosmetic stores if you're after joe malone because it does get quite busy in there and then i also picked up this from clinique um i've spoken about clinique before for their eye creams and this is the all about eye serum it's a deep puffing eye massage um, so I picked up this because I needed a new eye cream. I couldn't get my hand on the Moisture Surge one. Um, I didn't have that one in stock. So it's just a little roll-on, as you can see there. So I'm going to be trying that out. I absolutely love Clinique, um, especially for their eye products. Um, and this one was £19, reduced from £26.50. So again, another good saving on that. Then we also picked up some bits from Molten Brown. So again, highly recommend if you are going to that outlet. They have some really good gift sets at the moment. So Russ always has the tobacco shower gel. So they did a little gift set, which was the tobacco absolute shower gel. And there's also a um, body lotion in here as well. Um, so there's the Recharge Black Pepper Body Lotion. I think this one was reduced to, I think it was £36 from £58. Um, but yeah, a really good saving. I absolutely love Molten Brown. They had some really nice festive ones as well. And there's a really nice, like, bizarre brandy. That was really, really nice. Um, so yeah, that's what we got from the outlet. And then when I went to Watford on Wednesday, I just picked up some bits from MAC as well. So you would have seen I had my makeup done at mac and they did such a lovely job so when i have my makeup done i just love like buying the products um when i've had it done so yeah i have some bits in here as well as some samples um so i'll quickly show you so i have some samples of the studio um i think it was like flawless like foundation it was a really lightweight one it's more like a tinted moisturizer and it sat really lovely on my skin so it's for like face and body and it was the shade n2 and she's given me some samples here as well so I can try it out um, and see how it sits on my skin. But I absolutely love the finish of it. It was so glowy and so natural. And um, you guys know I absolutely love my tinted moisturisers. I'm all for a BB cream. So yeah, that was a lovely product to try out from MAC. And then, like I said as well, she basically applied a um, liner to like under here. Um, so it's gonna be fun trying to apply this um, on my own. I'm so crap at doing liner like on my upper lid and when she put this like dark brown one underneath, it just made my eyelashes look like really full. Um, so she gave me the shade, this is the Pro Longwear Eyeliner, Hugo's been very nosy here, um, in the shade um, Rich Experience. So it was a chocolate brown, Hugo, you're knocking the poof man. Careful, Bunky. He's honestly, he's in one of those moods today where he's just being clean. Are you okay? And then I also picked up this lipstick as well. So the lip liner that she used was the shade Whirl. It's literally the lip liner that um, Kylie Jenner like, used to wear all the time. So it's always sold out. So this one is the Powder Kiss lipstick in the shade Teddy 2.0. So I absolutely love MAC for their Teddy shades. This is more of a pinkier one. And I love the combo with the lip liner. So of course I thought I'm gonna buy this lip shade because I loved it when she put it on me and I'm just a sucker for lipstick. So let me show you the closer look at the colour. So here is the shade. So as you can see, it's a really lovely, like, pinky nude. Very, very me. You guys know I love my pinky nudes. Um, shades when it comes to my lipsticks. It was really nice and hydrating as well. As I find that some, like, matte lipsticks can be quite drying on my lips. This was absolutely fine. It lasted for ages as well. And then I literally just picked up a jumper from Zara. Um, I was after a new, like, rain roll neck. So I picked up this one, super cozy. I got it in a size medium. So as you can see, it has a nice big roll neck on here and I got it in a size medium and it was $27.99. So super cozy, Hugo. Hugo's literally sticking his head underneath it. 
Um, so yeah, absolutely love this. I'm sure you'll be seeing me style it very, very soon. So now on to the little Dior unboxing. I thought I'd do a nice way of filming it and put some music on for you guys and then end this video there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's Vlogmas. If you have, then please do make sure you give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you love my new Dior ring as well. Mm -hmm.